Hello, anyone and everyone, I am Echo, and today we are exploring Fear, First Encounter, Assault Recon. Oh boy. It is getting tiring saying that name every single time. It's a long title. Long, long title indeed. Uh, right now, that's... Oh, that's definitely the way we gotta go. I can see the fat man again. So, let's, uh... Jump over this. I'll do a little bit of covert sneaking mission big boss style down with cypher it's all for revenge type uh, sneaking and crawling in the vents let's turn off our light so we can be extra sneaky okay didn't work uh, it didn't work plant failed um, so apparently is that even oh jeez Wow, that's hitting us, even though we're behind the thing? Holy crap. Wow. Okay, let's have a few of those. Let's try this gun. This gun might do better. Okay, let's wait for it to look away. Alright, hold up. Let's look into the right. Now the left, and now it's gonna go that way. Alright. Come on, come on. Die, 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 please. Die, please. Thank you. Jeez, okay. This thing is shit at killing turrets. We can confirm that. We can confirm that indeed. Though I gotta say... I know I keep like going back and forth on whether or not I like this gun, but I have to say I really like the uh, the ammo counter on it. It uh, it reminds me of Dead Space. I love it when HUD elements of games can be integrated into the game itself somehow. Um, and like, cause like HUD HUDs in general don't make any sense in 99% of games. In like Halo or Metroid Prime. It makes a little bit of sense because they explain it by saying that the HUD is part of the visor in the helmet that the character is wearing. You know, so that kind of explains it, even though uh, in Metroid Prime it makes no reason, er, it makes no sense that she would have a health bar because obviously in real life people don't have health bars. You know, that's not how taking damage works in real life. Um, so it's kind of like a halfway point between making sense and not making sense, you know, being logical and not. But, like, overall, it's it, I, I'm, I'm okay with that, you know. Um, in some of the Halo games, you have a health bar. So that, again, doesn't make sense. But in most of them, I think you just have a, uh, you know, a shield. And that one actually does kind of make sense, that the shield could be on, like, a limited battery power. And as you take damage and absorb it with the shield, then it reduces the battery power. Maybe... Maybe the you know the shield gauge that you see on your visor is just is just showing you the the battery power for your rechargeable shield. Who knows? But uh, anyway, point is, HUDs typically are kind of immersion breaking, and so whenever it's possible to get rid of the HUD and substitute it for something in game, that's always something that I really enjoy. But anyway, okay, I was avoiding walking over near him because I suspect suspected he was going to have something to say. So, kind of, kind of, sort of, a little bit wasted my time standing there and talking, but I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Ooh, what's this lead to? Wait a minute, did I just do a sliding kick? Wait, no, no, fucking wrong button. It's gone. Melee, slide. Nope. Nope. No. Nope. Yeah, okay, so while moving forward you hold you press crouch and uh Yeah, moving forward you press crouch and melee and that does uh a a slide kick. That's cool. Our uh our move set of kind of pointless melee karate options is ever increasing. 
And there goes the fat man. Running off to his natural habitat. A room filled with computers. That's probably really mean to fat people, but it's okay. I'm kind of fat myself. Sort of. Oh boy. There's no way to get... On, like, on the other side of that one, is there? Unless, unless something over there. Alright, let's just... Nope. Nothing at all. Okay. Nope. Can we, like... I hit it over this thing and it... And the boxes kind of act like covered for me. A little bit. Um, we can't get a better angle on it at all, can we? Oh, great. Truck outside. I'm sure glad that'll probably show up in the recording. Okay. Can't tell which way it's... Okay. It was facing away from us. Not anymore. Ooh, can we go in here? No, it's locked from the other side. Alright. Well, we can at least get a bit closer to it. Good. God. Really? Hey, how about this? How about this? You, uh... Screw yourself. That didn't work at all. Great. Glad I could waste a grenade in such an important moment. There you go. Alright. We just need to get a bit closer. I don't know if it's a problem with the gun accuracy or that thing having really good shields and maybe the, uh, maybe the weapons just, like, can we melee this, by the way? No, okay. You know, maybe the weapons, uh, drop off in damage after a certain range. Oh, great. Because that's what I want in a scary game. More darkness. I mean, granted, as I've pointed out, the game isn't super scary, but still. Still. <laughs> Great. He's trying to fit his gigantic rear end through the, uh, through the vent. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to work. I'm sure that's going to work great. Can we actually, like confront him now? No. Of course not. Because the door is jammed for no reason. That's great. And a checkpoint. Probably right before another turret, if I'm lucky. Not. Ha ha. Funny joke. Um, can I jump up into this? Nope. What about a running jump? Nope. Nope, not at all. Okay. Good. I'm glad I'm glad to know that all my efforts are in vain at attempting to uh, jump up into vents. So well, let's listen to another recording. Okay. So, basically, kind of, uh, crap. I was only half paying attention, to be honest. I was taking a sip of my drink. I, uh, I don't know if he actually mentioned anything important. I don't think he, like, mentioned details of what the, uh, report thingy he was filing actually was. If he was, uh, I apologize. Because I missed it. But basically... You're gonna end... You're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna stop that? You're gonna stop having a little tem temper tantrum there? Anytime? No. Alright. 
best thing to do when a child is uh, throwing a temper tantrum is to just ignore them. Oh! Invisible dudes! Yeah! Awesome! I can't get over this, can I? Nope, I guess not. Alright. Okay, actually... I will point out, I think it's kind of cool that the thing noticed the vent falling and started shooting because of that, but it's still super freaking ridiculous that it's still shooting, even now. Where's it even shooting at? Really? What the hell? What in the world? Alright, that's just weird. Oh, and it's managing to hit us. That's great. Come on. Blow up, please. Good god. I, I, I don't I don't understand how it's able to shoot us from around the corner. I mean I guess obviously our player model is larger than our view because it's a first person game. But uh I don't know, it seems it doesn't seem like it should have been able to shoot us that well while we were hiding behind cover. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, I should probably take out that one, though. Come on. Anytime. I didn't mean to throw out my flashlight. Oh well. Sake. I'm in slow mo, you shouldn't be able to track me that well. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, no, duh. Thanks. Thanks, 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 game. Thanks, buddy. Buddy, old pal, old uh, chum. Uh, how far back did that set us? Back to the. Uh, back to the last checkpoint. Which was right before we crawled through the vents and killed the thing. Okay. Well, that's good to know. You know why that's good to know? It's good to know because it means we can just quickly skip ahead and I don't have to do any editing. That's right. You all get to sit through and watch me uh, crawl through vents yet again and uh, go somewhere I've already been and do a bunch of stuff I've already done because I don't want to sit through the editing. It's okay, we're basically right back at the same spot already. Just have to blow this up and hope it actually dies. Is this reloaded? Yeah. Okay. Alright. See, look at that. It's like, it's like, it's like nothing even happened. You didn't see me die. You can't pin it on me, copper. So let's just go through here, ignore that turret. I guess we're not meant to kill it. I guess. Uh, okay. What was that noise? I don't know. Oh wait, F to something? Pick up. Oh, oh wait! I thought I already picked that up. I didn't even realize I was at maximum. Okay, let's let our uh, flashlight recharge a little bit. Thank you. Okay. Now I'm pretty sure we're gonna be fighting some more invisible guys real soon, considering we saw that like that. Uh, oh, good! Right before another checkpoint. I love dying at those moments. Um. 
because we saw that like electrical burst. Yep, and oh wait, no, it's those guys. When did they show up? Okay, well, uh. Ooh. Okay, I guess he, uh. <laughs> they sent him to investigate alone? Really? Oh well. Whatever. You know what? Did you just dodge the shotgun? Really? Got split in half for your efforts. So that's, that's something to tell the kids. And tell them the epic tale of the time that you got split in half by a shotgun because you didn't hide behind cover properly. Uh, oh, I thought there was... Never mind. Anybody else down there? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh, hey, more over this. Yay, woo. Okay. Uh, this dead end? Dead end? Nope. I mean, I mean... Yes, it's a dead end. I then meant to ask, can we pick that up? Which we could not. I, I have to ask the important questions. Because if I don't, who will? I mean, honestly. Uh, no. Oh, hey, another checkpoint. They're being generous with the checkpoints now, aren't they? Ooh. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That looks good. You know what? Whoopsie! Oh, wait. Are the turrets fighting against these guys or not? I mean, it makes sense that it would. The turrets, uh, the turrets are Armacam turrets, right? So they should be. Ooh. Kind of wish I had my shotgun out there, but uh, I didn't realize he was about to jump up on top of me. Try and get up all up in my grill. Um, anyway, but, uh, yeah, you know what, I wanna, wanna end the episode on picking up whatever that new gun is. Like, seriously. I'm pretty sure it was a new gun, I hope, I hope I'm not going crazy and mistaking one that we've already seen as something new. Right? Nope. MOD-3 Multi-Rocket Launcher. Okay. And just in time to do a quick save so I don't waste ammo. And I'll just show off this gun. Yep. That looks like it's going to be fun. A lot of fun. And we'll have fun with it when I come back next time. In the next episode. I'll see you all then. Bye bye